I just received my new replacement magnesium Hanna checker in the mail maybe three days ago. It's been a number of months since they said they would replace it. Fortunately, they did. The process was fairly straightforward. This is, this is the old one here. So I'm going to go ahead and try out this new one. And I think I'm also going to try using this magnesium tester with the new reagent to see if it's actually still usable rather than just throwing it out. They are now using a powdered form rather than this liquid form. Reagent A here looks like it's the same. There's also one syringe fewer, which is actually nice because it kind of felt a little complicated prior. Otherwise, it looks the same. So let's dig in and take a look. So I'm gonna put a little O here for old so I can differentiate between the two checkers and I'm gonna check them side by side. We're adding four mils of reagent A five milliliters of sample water. Got to make sure that the glass is spick and span. And now we're adding in the second powdered reagent. That's kind of a, almost a purplish color and it empties out nicely, not like some of the white powders where it's unclear whether you got all the substance or not. It says gently shake for 30 seconds. And then they instruct you to either wait three minutes or if you press and hold the button, it'll set a timer. On my left here is the old Hanna checker using the new reagent. And this is the new Hanna checker using the new reagent. I'm gonna retest both of these again. So this is results for round two, 1275 and 1390. So there is a bigger gap between the two this time. The results are certainly close enough uh, when I compare it to my Mastertronic. It seems to me like you can use the old magnesium Hanna checker, not the reagents, but the actual checker. The new one has a built-in countdown of three minutes for you whereas the old one doesn't have that but all you do is set an alarm for three minutes and then press the result and you get the same thing. I will say that Hannah has put in the work actually made the process easier and presumably the reagents will last a lot longer especially being in the powder form. Don't hesitate to write any comments or ask any questions I'd be happy to help.